Hello. Welcome to my July wrap up. All the books I read in July. Let's get started. So the first book I read I was online. I'll put a picture here because I finally figured out how to do that. It was called Glitter by April Lynn Pike. This is about a girl who lives in this like fake 18th century like world inside this castle and then like outside it's like the future. Like everyone acts like they're in the future and they're acting like they're in the past. But she wants to escape, um, but will she find a way to do so? Hmm. Um, this also has a sequel um, called Shatter, which I want to read like next month sometime. I thought it was good and I thought it was a very interesting concept where she lives in the past but it's really the present, or the future in this case. <laughs> and then I read Nobody But Us by Kristen Hallbrook. <laughs> this is about two teen runaways. Um, it's sort of like a, a romance in a way, like, but the kind of romance that like Bonnie and Clyde had. <laughs> if you can say that's a romance. Um, I thought it was good. It had like a dual perspective between the boy and the um, girl, which I thought was done really well. Sometimes I don't think that really works, but in this case it did. Um, and then also the ending, like I did not see the ending coming. The ending was like, ah! <laughs> um, and then I read... Shatter Me by Tahara Maki. And I also read the sequel, Unravel Me. This is about a girl who has the power to like kill or hurt with her touch, like if she touches you with her her skin. And the um the baddies, the bad guys, they want to use her power for bad, but she's not, you know, about that. She's one of the good guys. <laughs> um so she tries to escape them essentially. Um and I started this series like many, many years ago, like I think um like seven or more maybe. And I finally got to like reread these um, because I definitely want to read um, the third one, which is called uh, Ignite Me. So I can finally read that now that it's like fresh in my mind. So I hope to read that like next month. Um, I thought it was great. And I thought they were like much better this time around than compared to like seven years ago. Like I really enjoyed it. Um, I think more than I did the first time. Then I read To Have and To Hold by Laura Dower. Um, this is about a girl whose dad is getting remarried. Um, this is like my favorite like series when I was um, a little kidlet. Um, and I still think it's great. Like they're just so um, page turny. <laughs> and um, I talked to this recently in a video, so like it was fresh in my mind. So I was like, I just like grabbed it on a whim to like reread it. And it's just still so good. And then I read Silver by Talia Vance. This is about a girl <laughs> with magical powers. Um, it's like a fancy romance type. Um, I thought it was good. This is a series, but I don't think I'm gonna continue it. It wasn't that good <laughs> to continue. I mean, um, and then I read *The Duchess of Padua* by Oscar Wilde. This is a play about a guy who's avenging his father's murder, um, but with romance thrown thrown in. Um, I thought it was okay. It reminded me a lot of Romeo and Juliet with the, like, kind of, uh... Why did it remind me of Romeo and Juliet? I don't remember. I didn't write that part down. <laughs> I think it's because it has, like, star-crossed lovers or something. Maybe that was it. Um, and then I read Brooding YA Hero by Carrie Ann Derizio. It was, like, sort of a novel, sort of like a how to write book like it was a funny story of sorts of like how you can like become your own like main character like how to like write essentially your main character um I thought it was okay it was pretty it was like humorous though like very sarcastic <laughs> and the last book I read was Victoria and the Rogue by Meg Cabot <laughs> this is a historical romance about a headstrong bossy girl <laughs> and she has to side between two fellows and I thought it was good. Um, I don't think it had much plot, but it was a quick read, so it gets uh, points for that. So, in total in July this month, I read nine books. And total for the year, my grand total, is 68. And I will see you next month.